The northern leopard frog is one of our two heavily spotted species. Not just mottled, but heavy, easily seen spots, along with the pickerel frog. The leopard frog has absolutely no spotting or coloration on the underside, so it's clear white, whereas a pickerel frog has yellow around the waist and underneath the legs. On the back, the leopard frog has oval, randomly distributed spots that are outlined in a light halo of either light green or perhaps white. Northern leopard frog really is a three habitat species, meaning that it overwinters in deep water under the ice, it breeds in flood waters, and then it feeds in open areas. And this is pretty unusual because most frogs feed in the woodlands, but this one feeds in open grassy areas or sedgy areas. The northern leopard frog has an unusual two-part call. The first part of the call sounds like an ascending and descending series of taps. The second part of the call sounds similar to rubbing your fingers on a balloon. One of the conservation concerns then is maintaining connections between these permanent water bodies, these open grasslands or sedge lands, and these floodlands, and allowing the natural flood regimen of the uh, wetlands in which they live.